Hello everybody, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. Uh, exactly the same place we left off last episode, so we shall carry on. We've just come to the uh, come, come. end of time. Let's have a quick review with Zigzag Six Zags. I can never say that properly. The Weaver of Time said that what finding Starstone helps her weave the tapestry once more. How is that possible? Cross my heart, hope to fade in the void, I honestly don't know. But ask her, if she claims it is so, perhaps she knows why. Like the imp said to the ballista operator... Oh, okay, I don't shoot. think there's anything we need here, is there? Uh, don't if take my leave, we'll just have a quick... Once you return to Rivalon, there will be someone waiting for you. My agent, my eyes and ears upon your world. Okay, that's new. I don't remember that at all. I hope he'll be able to help you as much as he can. Time, I need hardly remind you, is of the essence. Okay, okay. Have a quick word with the uh, Weaver of Time. Oh! There's the waypoint button. Okay. So a quick word with her. How welcome you are upon this realm, our most honored guest. I hope you begin to find this place more familiar than it may yet seem. Uh, please tell me about yourself, madam. In the ethereal threads of eternity, do I record the deeds of gods and men, of beasts and spectral apparitions? I could listen to her voice all day. The drift of continents through changing seas, the rise and fall of empires, the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every raindrop on every world, the all but imperceptible touch of lovers' hands. This and all I chronicle without fault. Except, it seems, you <laughs> ask okay. and I shall answer if I can. This may sound silly, but aren't you lonely out here? What? <laughs> oh, Hunter, I have no need for company, like I have no need for air or appetite or affection. All I need and all I am is time, and time is running out unless you remedy its decline. And yet, I do enjoy your companionship, for you may prove to become the cure that will heal my slipping soul. If I understand correctly, I am not at all featured on the canvas of time. Quite so. Your absence. It should be an impossibility, but no matter where I look, you cannot be found. I do not know you. Which makes you my one perennial imperfection. A blind spot in the eye of time. But perchance I may be cured of this blindness. Perchance the blemish may be undone. And time can be redeemed. How can I redeem time if, as you say, I am not even part of it? Good question. I think that perhaps you can redeem time. Because you create time. Indeed, you have set in motion an event I no longer held possible. Know that no longer I did weave. I sat here at the end of time and watched on as the void frays the fabric of time 
like a terrified god that fears the offspring of his own creations. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but suddenly there was you. You who stirred the life within the stones. These stones, children of stars, they place new ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. New threads emerged, and I began to weave anew. Starstone gives me new strands to braid into the tapestry. And because you give Starstone energy, it seems that you are creating time. These star stones, please seek them so that time may yet be mended. Please, for the sake of all that lives and all that loves, seek them so that the void may yet devour itself alone. Okie dokie, we will do that. I'll take my leave. Thank you. Right, well, we need to go back down to uh, Earth. <laughs> I take it, or Rivalon. Uh, I think what we will do for this episode, and what I'll try and focus on, is uh, getting the other companions. I've got one companion. I've got two companions. Um, but there are two more. I'd like to get those before the end of this episode. So I've got like 20 minutes to do this in. All I need to do is remember how to do it. Source Hunters, I welcome you once again to the realm of Rivalon after your travels through the chasms of space. Nice to have found a shelter, wouldn't you agree? Where you can come to no harm. Definitely knew this. I don't remember Ahu ever being involved with the end of time scenario. I know the imp historian has told you about his agent on Rivalon, and that agent is I. So, now that you know of the alliance between me and Sir Zigzax, let us turn to the business at hand. Starstone. Uh, let us do so indeed. I would greatly value Zigzax's agent's advice. Okay. And I'll be delighted to give it. Dark webs are being woven around these parts, and it is my firm belief Starstones are the flies the sorcerer spiders are trying to catch. It can therefore hardly be a coincidence that Councillor Jake was a collector of the stones we seek. His foul murder and the plight of dying time must somehow be interconnected. That's new as well. I don't remember him ever being a collector of stones. That means the task you have been given remains crucial. Find the assassin that did away with Jake, for you're bound to stumble upon Starstone along the way. How did you find out Jake was a Starstone collector? While you were being lectured by our friend the Historian and the Grand Dame of Time, I snuck into his house and had a look around. The advantage of being a cat, you know. You go where you please with impunity. And sometimes the lady of the house even rewards you with a slice of fresh herring. That's where I saw them in a cabinet. Mere slivers, but specks of Starstones nonetheless. They lay there, silent and innocent. Though bloody murder may have been committed in their name. Okay, what shall we ask next? Uh, how do you become Zigzax's agent? I met him first, a long time ago, out in the wastes of Uthal Gore. He wondered aloud what on earth a cat was doing out there in the scorching desert then shared what little food and water he had with him. So I told him who I was and showed him my human form. He laughed and marveled and told me stories about his travels. In the end, he even shared his great sorrow with me. The unspeakable thing you saw through his looking lens. I was awed and frightened, but swore to help him in any way I could. As of now, that includes helping the two of you. Okay. I don't think there's any point asking that. Do you put absolute credence in the words of Zigzags? Obviously he does. He's his agent, so no point in saying that. Uh, I'll take my leave. Oh, before you go, here. Take this teleporter pyramid. 
A handy toy indeed that Zigzags asked me to give to you. You'll need the other one too if you want to make use of its powers, but alas, I seem to have misplaced it. Don't worry though. Use this one here and it'll take you straight okay. to its twin. <laughs> right. Now that this matter has been settled, hunters, I shall detain you no longer. But rest assured, I'll do my share of hunting too. So if you spot a white cat during your travels, do stop to say hello. Let me notice that before, he's actually got a, a nunchaku. Fighting buttons. Uh, right. Uh, right, first of all we need to find the other one of that. Oh my god! What is going on here? First I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? Ciao. Oh, seven against two. I've got no chance. Okay. Uh, uh, rock. Uh, paper. Damn it. Scissors. Rock. Scissors. Rock. Well, I don't believe it. I won it. Good grief, my word indeed. <laughs> I guess so. I never imagined my bathroom would be such a hub of community activity. <laughs> oh, do be a dear and show yourself out, won't you? <laughs> okay. Well, we got away with that. And I need to pick that up. If you oh. thought the flower stink much this longer, is dear will private. smell this lady from a field away. I'll save a leg of something good for when she begins to starve. All right, comrade. Don't Nothing just to stand there. It's clear. Go. Pick up. There we go. Away with the seven. Grant abundance. I'm going. I'm going. Stop screaming. Thank what you. What are you still doing here? Be gone. We're gone. Right, I oh, need to talk to Medora. Okay, get on. Uh, Roderick. Unknown to all time, are you? <laughs> Leave it to an imp to try to fill our minds with all manner of magical gobbledygook. I'll tell you who you are. Source hunters. Members of the most esteemed order in Rivalon. Here to find out and grind out every last speck of dark magic in the realm. There. The enigma is solved. <laughs> what are you? You think I'm... <laughs> no, no, comrade. You can keep the honor of being the object of the Space Sim Special Interest all to yourself. I just hope this fancy of yours doesn't interfere with your real job. Or have you forgotten that little detail already? Oh. Right, okay, so I, I said the object was to find the other companions, but before we do that, we need to open up the uh, Hall of Heroes, which is where they stay. Now, where can I do that? I just need to get rid of that. I've got that thing on my screen again. Options, video. Buffering, apply, yes. Off, apply, yes, accept, bike, resume, there we go, it's gone again. I can't remember if I did this part, let's have a quick uh, look. No, obviously I didn't. Any takers? Come on, you So a quick word with these. Which of you is more deserving of life? Come, make your case. Excuse me, this is a private sick room. Who in the name of the sevens you think you are barging in here? 
Out, I say. Right this instant. <laughs> She's really angry now. All I say is, tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. It's this task. I'm just... Who am I to meddle with life and death this way? I'm an apprentice of the healing arts. Healing. But this decision feels like precisely the opposite. I have but one healing stone, you see, and two direly wounded men who need it. I've been racking my brain trying to decide on the best method to settle this grave situation, but perhaps it's better off in the hands of an esteemed source hunter. Surely you are more accustomed to weighing life and death than I. Tell me more about the patients. What would you like to know? Tell me about Boris. One of the brave few willing to traverse the trade routes plagued by the undead. A young man, but excellent in matters of business, before he fell victim to an orcish club in the north, that is. Thankfully for him, a cattle trader found him, nearly dead, but not quite so, and brought him here straight away. I'd like to know more about Stephen. Quite the venerable staple of Cyseal, Stephen, and recently blessed with his third grandchild. He was leading a crew of builders when a stray beam struck him in the temple, and only a few days shy of his last day of work before retirement, no less. Nearly everyone in Cyseal is familiar with grinning Stephen, and, as you can imagine, he's quite dear to his family. <coughs> yes, a curious relic indeed. I got it from a kindly abbot, Loik by name, in the northern town of Silver Glen. He is of a certain faith, the Immaculates, they call themselves, that espouses the belief that certain stones can heal wounded flesh. That's a name that we're going to hear a lot of, I think. I myself was nothing if not skeptical of his claims, but something happened as he handed me the stone. A small cut on my finger instantly healed, leaving no trace of the wound. Needless to say, I was astounded, but it's strange. The stone is only good for a single use at a time before it reverts to a useless, inert state. It takes time to regain its magical properties, and I guard it cautiously. Okay, I'm ready to make my decision. You are? Oh, I thank you a million times for your help. Who have you decided should receive the healing stone? I think in the last time I played this game I went with Boris, mainly because his life had just begun, I don't want to cut it short. But since I'm a, an old guy myself, I think for a change we'll go with Stephen. Let's let him see his, the rest of his family growing up, his grandchildren, and he's just retired, let him enjoy it. Yes, let's return a healthy Stephen to his family as soon as possible. Stephen it is. Yes, I'll deliver the stone. I'm glad we'll get to save one man, but my heart breaks for the other. No, thank no, you this seven. is highly oh, abnormal. Thank you. What is this? This lightning? There we go. You unlocked a new room at your homestead. I wish there were enough stones for both of us. Who's that, Boris? Quick word with Stephen. Oh. Oh, my saviour, I owe you everything, you know, everything. Well, I think my wife will just about faint. My son, a grown man, mine, will spring into my arms like he were a little boy. And my grandkids will ask what present I bought them. Oh, to see their smiling faces again. <laughs> I'm giddy as a school kid. Okay, I'll take my leave. Goodbye, then. My hero. Thank you. Right, here we go. We shall head back to the Sorry, end of time. Welcome back, Source Hunters. I've been eagerly expecting you. You found another star stone, haven't you? Go on, go on. Ask me how I know. All right, I'll buy it. How can you tell me we tell we found another stone? when you know what to look for, and luckily, I do. Do you remember when you first arrived on this plane, when the dormant portal that led us to this hall sprang to life? 
It's happened again, my friend. Another portal has reignited. The end of time is growing by the stone. It's all connected somehow. You, this place, the void, the stones. Soon we'll have unraveled the whole truth. Oh, how I do love a good mystery. What have you discovered through the new portal? You don't imagine that I'd presume to explore it before you? No, 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 that would be most unmannerly. Uh, and not to mention, well, uh, the, uh, the... What is it? No, oh, I'm sure it's nothing. It's just that beyond the portal, I sense a, well, a presence that I can't quite account for. It is at once powerful and faint. Perhaps only a shadow, perhaps more. But this is only speculation, of course. Come, come, let me show you the way. Once you're through, you'll be able to report exactly what we're dealing with. Okay, let's go. Room. So it is. A hall fit for kings. Hmm. Can't seem to say that. And who are you, dear? Astarte. You. It cannot be you. But it can only be you. The guardians. Those I deceived, those that deserted me, but oh, how weak you have become, as weak as you used to be strong. Look about you, you used to lead and now, now you follow, ignorant of your faults and ignorant of your fate, but it has come to this. Woe to the world that it has come to this. The Guardians. He won't believe me, the Fiend. But they have come, as I prayed they would. Okay, so she's been expecting me. She prayed for me to, for us to come. She knows us. We are the Guardians. We know we're not the Hall of Heroes. Can I pick that up yet? No. Let's have a quick look at what it says. New entry in the log. What's that? Okay, is that it? Okay, that's completed. This is a gentleman that you can hire. Well, wouldn't you look fine Companions with a from. strapping warrior at your side? Or is it mages you prefer? An eagle-eyed ranger? A stealthy pickpocket? Take your pick of my swords for hire. Of course, Chief. But maybe you ought to get rid of some of your... <clears throat> oh. <laughs> ones first. Never does well to sour one batch in sight of the other. Right. Uh, it's looking like we might not have time to get the other companions this episode. We'll try and get one, I think. Take me under your wing. But I see no feathers. Are you a child of the birds, as I am of the bears? And so the lonely babe was fed upon the wild mother's milk, and cast aside from humankind, he thrived among his mother's ilk. 
So says the saga of Thrys. Do you know it? The wise godwolf Amira raised the child Thrys among her litter. So you see, I have good company. Thrys the wolfson, and I the bear daughter. I'm in the responsible you. I'll keep you out of trouble. In truth, okay. this is a relief. Your world is made with rules I have not yet memorized. I'm happy to have a friend in such a place. Right, we'll get so, so at least you. one, so... But take a lesson from the ancient kid. Okay. Right, she should be over here now. Yeah, there she is. Magic pockets. Okay, that's fine. Uh, north gate. And who have we got? All right, okay, we can pick up the demon hunter. I think he is. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, we shall pick him up, and that will be it for this episode, I think. Oh, and he talks a cat, oh, don't golly we? gosh! One who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Cecile with the easy elegance of a puss with her tail in the air. I do declare such a sight is rather rare around here. But where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters one hears so much about. Charmed, I'm sure. Uh, about unsinkable Sam. Oh, he's a darling old <coughs> Tom, isn't he? Pours over tales in love with me, and uh, who can blame him? The feelings, well, it's rather mutual, actually. But that pet of a puss simply doesn't have a penny to his name. At the risk of sounding as shallow as a spaniel, I can't but admit my love does not come unconditionally. What if we were to have kittens, he and I? They'd jolly well starve, wouldn't they, with an alley cat for a papa? Oh, dear Sam, he's such a good old bean. But he does rather reside at the bottom of the scratching pole, doesn't he? And dear me, one <laughs> must have at least a mite of standards. Oh, dear. I'll take my leave. Right. Let's just get Johanna. Omnis autum mali demonis quam. What? What is this? Who are you to interrupt my musings? By Naga, the protector, they have the manners of boors, these boatmen of Sicile. Oh, but perhaps I spoke too soon. Perhaps I was mistaken. For you hardly resemble the local fisher folk, which, incidentally, is a compliment of copious dimensions indeed. No. A source hunter. That is what you are. Yes, a stalker of sorcery, a chaser of charms pernicious. In truth, I cannot go so far as to say it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, for I take no pleasure in the company of man. But it may just be to our mutual advantage to join forces nonetheless. Why would you want to join forces? Why? Simply because you hunt source, and I, Jehan, hunt demons. You are aware, of course, that quite often both of these pests frequent the same shadowy pools of infamy. Now, I hate what I hunt, but I respect its cunning. Should I not, I'd have been decimated body and soul long since. This is a sentiment I'm quite certain you must recognize. Let there be strength in cunning, yes, but also in numbers. The calculus of wizardry I offer you. The might of the magician's mastermind. On one condition. That on our joint travels we will never deal with demonic entities, no matter how tempting their propositions. Give me your word on this, and I'll weave you spells. Very well, there will be no deals with demons. Agreed. Nothing good ever came from bargaining with those devils anyway. Most gratifying. I see you are firm of purpose and thereby ready to descend. 
Descend into the madness that is sorcery, into the depths where demons dance. Gladly shall I follow you into the abyss. Onward, blood and triumph await. Alrighty then. I think that's all the companions we've got now. Oh no it's not, no we're one short. We will have to go and get him next episode, I forgot all about him. Alright folks, sorry there's not much action in these episodes at the moment, but we will get there. We will have to fight on the way to the next companion, so we will have that next episode. Thanks for watching, uh, don't forget if you do like the videos, please leave me a like and subscribe. This is Old Grey, signing off.